Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Minecraft. Ooh, this chest is nice and organized. I wonder how that happened. Not as much. Ooh, my inventory is all full of resources. I did some stuff off camera. I don't usually like to do that, but um, in this case it was kind of tedious, because I needed to do this. Oh. Ooh. Now... I wanted to do something with the mossy cobble I got from that spawner, and uh, while I'm not being clever, I'm just going to build a whole building out of it. This is my enchanting room. Oh, this is my enchanting room. I needed to... Oh, oh! This is my watery enchanting room. It still works, right? So that's what we're going to do in a second. Oh, I broke the button. And the torches. Hang on. Hang on. Alright. This is my watery enchanting room. Um, I needed to raise a bunch of cows and gather a bunch of leather and farm a bunch of reeds. Uh, it wasn't, and it wasn't, uh, wasn't the most exciting footage in the world, so I decided to spare you guys. I ended up not having enough patience for them to grow, and once I got close, I just chopped down a bunch of my uh, my plants. So now I have to re uh, re plant them, but that's okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Got some more reeds. Don't need them, but I like farming. Okay, I just wanted to replant those. So we've got a, a bunch of arrows, too. I spent some time <clears throat> in my skeleton spawner that I showed off last episode. Notice I'm at level 53, because I wanted to gather a bunch of arrows and bows and stuff, because I need to go finish exploring what's under my, uh, under my mountain. We're going to go caving this episode, but first, what we need to do is enchant this pick. I really want fortune. Re what I really want is unbreaking and fortune. That would be incredible. Because we need diamonds. Badly. So let's see what we get. Alright. In the in the in the um, spirit of B double O we're gonna do it. F O R T U N E. Oh. That's terrible. That's like the worst thing we could have done. Man. Now, I can't unchant it again. Oh, that's horrible. That's, that's... <sighs> well, not the best luck. I guess I'll use it. I'll just, it'll be a... Well, actually, no. I'm not even gonna use that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for a little bit. Maybe I can anvil it together with something else. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna make before we go caving two. I'm gonna just level one enchant all my armor and my other stuff. Cause now oh, I gotta. Does that work? Yeah. Level one, projectile, protection, 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 projectile. Okay, that's whatever. It is what it is. It's better than nothing. And uh, I'll do my pick, my picks. Just cause why not? I have so many levels, and I'm gonna get- I have unlimited levels now. Levels aren't valuable anymore, because as long as I have patience, I can get as many as I want, because I have this, um, the skeleton spawner. Sharpness knockback, that's great. And I'm gonna use that sword to repair that sword. Um... Oh, 
Well, actually, I'm going to wait until it gets a little more damaged. I don't think I need to bring three swords with me. But uh, here's our supplies. Our cows are... Oh, our cows grew up. Wait, before we go... I'm going to breed some cows. Come on. Mate, cows, mate. Whoa, no, 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 don't, don't, no. Crap. Come back in here, everybody. Come back in here. I'll collect your XP. I have an, I feel so bad. I have an odd number of cows. So every time I do that, I get one cow who stays horny. The whole time, he never gets laid. Poor guy. Alright, I got 49 beef. Did I have anything cooking? No. I got a lot of beef. Um... I don't need this weed anymore. Uh, we're ready to go. So let's go explore under our house. I really should later grab that cow. Just so that I have an even number of cows. I really should do that. Why didn't I enchant this iron pick? Because it's almost, it's almost broken? Wait. Wait! Now we, we have this, we have to use this enchanting table now that we have it. Hmm. I also expanded this wheat farm, as you can see. Um. Because I was trying to farm enough wheat to grow all these cows. Do I have another iron pick? Where's my iron? Oh, oh, there. Where are my sticks? There we go. I, um, I was trying to farm enough wheat to raise all those cows, so I expanded my wheat farm a little bit. Okay. Those are good working picks. That's good, uh... Good iron. Good for iron. Ah, I'm really bummed about that. Unbreaking three. That really stinks. Let's sleep before we go. Ah, I've enchanted. I enchanted a pick. I've enchanted a couple picks that got like super awesome high level, like like unbreaking four. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, like that kind. That's what I was hoping for, and I have gotten that before. So I was... Man, that's a bummer. Alright, now this is... I started... I know I started off doing this cave responsibly. Um, and like, blocking off entrances. And then once I found... Once I got deeper, and it, it got complicated, I sort of just ran willy-nilly which is gonna make it kind of tough for me to follow in my own footsteps but we're gonna try and this time we're gonna collect all the resources because I, I got cocky with how many resources I had and now I'm running low I'm actually running a little bit low on iron I mean I have enough but I'd like to have, like, you know, ten, ten full stacks of it, and coal, like, I, I just don't want to have to worry about having enough ever for anything. Now, unfortunately, see, I'm getting levels like crazy here, because of the coal, and did I miss anything? I'm getting levels like crazy, and that's great, except that since I don't have any diamonds, I can't, I can't make any tools to use my, uh, to use the levels on, because it's no use, there's no point in doing a level 30 enchant on an iron tool, I don't, I don't think, I mean, it seems foolish to me to do that. <laughs> Here, a slime. Ow. 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 
I mean, I could be wrong. But... That seems foolish. It seems like... A waste of levels. Now, I guess it's not, because... For me, levels are an unlimited resource. Like... With my skeleton spawner, I can get as many levels as I want for until the end of time. But, I still don't want to waste them. Even if they're free, I still don't want to waste free things. So, we're not. We're not going to waste them. We're going to save them up. We're going to do level 1s on all our iron stuff. And we're going to save them up. Save up the, uh... Oh, I didn't bring cobble. Well, I'm getting enough. I forgot to bring cobble. I forgot my own caving method. I have all these branches. Oh, right. I remember now. And I ended up in a crazy, like... What's over here? I just want to see if this is a dead end. I, I ended up in, like, a crazy lava thing. No, it's not a dead end. Okay. We'll mine here, and then block it off. So I'm going to level 1 enchant all my iron tools. And then psst, wait until I get some diamonds before I do my 30s. I'll save that unbreaking three pick until I'll save it for something maybe I'll, I'll anvil it together with uh... maybe I'll anvil it together with something at some point I'm not sure we'll do something with it I mean it's not terrible it'd be a good but it's pretty bad it's pretty bad now I know I know people advocate enchanting books always like don't en don't put enchants on the item put an enchant put the enchant on a book so that if you don't like it then it's not wasted but the thing about that is that so I was like all right that's good that's that's that makes sense I'm gonna do that that's a good idea and then I enchanted a book and I got like well I can't <laughs> I can't think of a useless enchant off the top of my head but I got something that I didn't need like aqua infinity aqua affinity or something you know like I, I'm, I'm enchanting I'm trying to enchant equipment like to get diamonds and to kill monsters and to protect myself I have no need for like aqua affinity or like that kind of stuff. All right, is this the way back or is my torches just totally screwed up? This is the way back. This is a really confusing cave. This is not the where we came in either. This is a different area. Oh. Okay. Maze of twisty passages. All confusing, just like I said in my... Now, this is a dead end. Why didn't I block this off? Maze of Twisty Passage is all confusing, like I said in my last... In my... One of my first caving episodes. I wish caves were linear. Like, were more linear. Really. I mean, part of the fun is the branching obviously like discovering what's where and stuff but it's confusing I just want to kind of go in a line I actually had a really good time a good fun time exploring an abandoned mine shaft on the Ender Empire server where I play multiplayer um, and I came up with a really cool system for exploring abandoned mine shafts, or I mean, you know, it's the same system as as I'm using, but I was really methodical about it and it made it really cool because I could like I would just block off 
the different pathways as I went. Um, and then... Then block off the different pathways. And then when I... Um, would and then like go explore one basically all right what's going on here this needs a torch and then explore one and then once i got to the end of it block it go back and block it off and then you know like the same thing i'm doing but it seemed to work very nicely with the narrow linear pathways of an abandoned mine shaft. So that was really successful. I really liked that. I think, if I remember correctly, there was an abandoned mine shaft here in this uh, cave system. It's been a little while since I recorded an episode, and I kind of forgot. Or it's well, it's definitely been a while since I was in this cave. And I forgot what was here. So, we're gonna find out. Now, I know back there there's a whole bunch of different pathways, but this is the deep one. Alright, this is like a jump down sort of situation. With some monsters that I have, I can shoot now. Somewhere. Whoa! Where are you, skeleton? All right, all right. I need to mark my exit. Where is it? I already lost it, are you serious? Here it is. That's the way out. That's straight down to right. This is straight on till the bottom of this pit. So that's terrifying. This is the way home. I think I'll build a Where are, where are you, zombie? There's a zombie right here somewhere. Right here. That was like... This way? Okay. Well, no. Alright, let's... Uh, build a little staircase. This is the way home. Oh, there he is. He's on the way home, funny enough. Okay. Now, let's pick a direction. Well, no. First, let's block off where we're not going yet. Because I don't want to get lost like I did last time. Because that's dumb. Okay, torches. Uh, this way looks interesting. Did I go down here? Yeah, there's torches and there's resources. So, I'm going to go... What's this way? Did I go this way? There's torches and skeletons. Alright. I just need to pick a direction. Let's pick a direction. Oh, jeez. I gotta eat. Okay. I'm gonna go down there <clears throat> so do these lead to the same place these two no this is well kind of I can't totally block it off because I don't have enough gobble but I'll light this up as haven't been here yet and I can't block that off because I used to use up all my cobble. And I don't feel like sitting around mining just for markers. We'll get it. We'll get it as we go. I really should have brought a stack of cobble. I forgot. I forgot when I was gathering my inventory that that was a thing that I need. Whoa! Oh. Okay. 
Okay, now I know. Okay, here we go. This is Creeper! 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 That was supposed to be the tune to the tune of Thriller. It wasn't, really. Okay. I feel that. Okay, this is tricky, too. We have to make ourselves another staircase. Okay, this is the way home. And now, this looks exciting. Where, how deep am I anyway? I'm way, way up there still. Okay. I'm gonna block this off. This looks very exciting. To at least make it mob proof my wall there we go that looks exciting I like that but I need to go down because I started at the top of a mountain so if I'm gonna get diamonds here if I'm gonna get to diamond level anytime soon I definitely need to head down so, I'm gonna head down. This is sad. My cobble situation is dire here. I just need to make sure that I don't go revisit stuff. Okay, let's go. Let's block. I can't block that. I can block this easier. Oh, this goes down so quickly. I do want to go that way. I can't block up there either. And I can't block this off. Although, while I can see this iron, I should get it. I really, like, last episode, I was just, like, sprinting through this cave. I don't know what I was thinking. It was weird. I don't usually do that. Oh, there's the mine shaft. Well, that's good. I definitely want one of those. Although, <laughs> baby spiders are not the most fun thing in the world. And I've actually never found diamonds in an abandoned mine shaft. I guess the miners got all of them before I did. I always get diamonds around, like, lava. Like, around a lava pool or a lava lake. It seems. I guess because diamond level is the same place, same level that, that uh, lava, lava pools start to form, so I guess that makes sense. That always seems to be the case. And you don't find a lot of abandoned mine shafts down that far. You do, I, I have seen them. I've seen pictures of them, rather, on Reddit. Bedrock level mine shafts. I think the post was specifically bed mine shafts at bedrock level look really eerie. Alright, alright. Cover this up. Ooh, dark spaces. We got some creeping noises. Alright, let's go this way. Cause there's a mine shaft. Oh. I have some cobble now, so I can block off where I came from. I can block off this direction now. Okay. And there's probably a gap there. Did I just break my staircase? No, okay. Now this is, this looks like a wall, so I gotta really make sure that it doesn't, I don't trick myself into thinking it's a wall. And we're gonna go down here. Although first, is there anything up? Is there any, is that a, is that a hallway up there? It is. I should, um. Oh. 
That's a long straight hallway. That's actually really cool. I just need to run. I guess this is what I said. I guess that's how I got myself in trouble. That was like, ooh, this looks interesting. Let's go run down here. Oh, this looks cool. Let's run down here. But really, that just gets me screwed up. But there's nothing in this hallway. No resources in that hallway. So, bye-bye. Block it off. Go back down, and we're going to go down here. Down here. <clears throat> what I was I, I said before when I shot, I, I think I was starting to say, oh, there's another hallway and some emeralds. Did I not explore down here at all? There's just a couple torches. Or did I go this way? I guess I did. All right. Let's be organized now. I can't let myself get too excited. Can't get too excited. There's got to be a pathway back. That's the pathway back. There needs to be torches on the right so that it's clear that this is the way back. Oh. Hidden iron. That's nice. What I think I started to say before is that I feel like I'm really good with the bow. Um, what? Oh, that's a... Am I already... Oh, there's the stairs. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta mark that from this side, too. This is the stairs back. Let me clear this so that I can see them more clearly. There we go. There's the stairway back. This is... Man, this cave is exciting. Ah! Go hide. Okay, that's blocked. This needs to be blocked too, but that's huge. I'll just give it a bar for now. Okay. I get this iron. Get this okay, get this iron. It's really important that the way back is is clear. So as I was trying to say more than once, I feel like I'm really good with the bow. My aim and um, timing of like arrow, arrow, arrow. Because I play a lot of first person shooters. Particularly Counter-Strike. I don't know, if anybody plays Counter-Strike, I love to play Counter-Strike with you. <laughs> I'm always looking for competitive um, teammates because that game sucks to play by yourself not by yourself but with people you don't know it's horrible it's just not it's just brutally not fun people don't cooperate they don't listen to you they they complain about when you it's just horrible it's it's like it's a team game and it really needs to be played with a team it just isn't it's just not any good I mean it's fun the like actual shooting is fun regardless, but the strategy aspect of it, which is the thing that I really enjoy, the like the the teamwork, the planning, the calling your spots and helping your teammates, like I really enjoy that and playing with randoms who don't cooperate really ruins that part of the experience. Like they just people yell at each other, they oh crap. Well, I needed to go back down here anyway. People yell at each other. They don't call spots. They they. When I say call spots, if you don't play uh, first-person shooters, it's when you die. It's really important that you um tell your teammates. So Counter Strike is a five-on-five. Five, they call it tactical first-person shooter. So it's not it's not run and gun like Call of Duty. It's very slow and methodical, and strategic. Like, um, there's, cause it's um, you don't. So the way that a match works. Oh boy. Oh boy. I really explored myself into a corner. 
the way that a Counter Strike match works, you have it's um best of thirty uh, in short two minute rounds or minute competitive they do a minute and forty minute and forty five second rounds and your goal is either if you're the counter terrorist your goal is to stop the terrorist from planting the bomb and if you're the terrorist your goal is to plant the bomb that's competitive counter strike um, there's other game modes that people play casually but those are the only competitive ones um, I'm gonna block off everything here okay um, so there's small maps and it's five on five so you spawn, you buy your weapons, and then you go and you either defend or attack the bomb sites. And um, if you get kills, you get money, and you use the money next round to buy more equipment to buy weapons. If you die, you lose your weapons, and you use your money to buy more weapons. Um, so there's a lot of strategy in the usage of money, like when do you spend your you have to spend your money as a team because if you're buying more powerful weapons, if some of you are but some of you aren't, then you're not gonna be as powerful as you could and you waste your money. And then what I was talking about calling spots is you um When you die, you, you're supposed to tell your teammates where you died so they know where the enemy is, and preferably what weapon they have, so that they can um, react accordingly and maybe move to go kill that guy or to get away from that guy if he's dangerous. And when you play with random people and they don't cooperate and they don't say that, they don't call their spots and when they're, when they're on terrorists, they don't cooperate with your strategy and go where you want them to go because... You really do need someone directing. Like, you can't just play willy-nilly. You have to cooperate with each other. And I don't think I have time. I don't. I don't have time to finish my talking about Counter-Strike. But, uh... In next episode, I'll probably forget that I was talking about Counter-Strike. But, um... It's fun, and if any of you guys want to play, if you any of you play Counter Strike and want to play with me at some point, my name, my Steam ID is Ace McKay, Ace M C K A Y, and there's a funny reason for that. Back when I played Counter Strike 1.6 with my friend Tom, who's currently my roommate, uh, back in middle in high school, and um, we. He was really into it before I was, and people put a lot of stock in your Steam ID number. So, like, how many digits your Steam ID number was, because that said how early you got on Steam, which is so stupid, but that's the thing, that's the kind of things people on the internet get excited about. And since I got on Steam pretty early, I had a really low, low digit Steam account. So, me and Tom traded Steam accounts so that he would have a low digit account and I, that was really silly in hindsight but well this is a, hey there pretty diamonds well this is a good place to stop I'm just gonna now I just fell down this hole so I gotta figure out my way back but what a good way to end the episode thank you guys so much for watching Oh, it's a lot of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was a fun one. I'm sorry if you're if if you were excited that I stopped caving. Now I gotta start caving again. But I need I need tools. I need tools. I am gonna be building eventually, building my house. But right now, I feel like it's now that I'm in a, a spot. Well, first of all, I want to clear out this area under my house. Because I don't want my house to be overrun with monsters. Um, and that's important. So that's kind of why I'm... Whoa. What? What's going on? 
Do you see this right now? My pick is cloning. Okay, so there's no pick here. This is unbreak. So if I shift click this pick, it adds. It's cloning a one. A one. Okay, now it didn't do it anymore. That was so weird. A one durability pick. Let's see if there's any underneath. We're gonna mine out these diamonds. Make sure they're safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next episode, we're gonna continue caving. We got to an exciting place. Obviously, we're at diamond level. There's a lot of stuff over this way. There's a lot of stuff over this way. There's a lot of stuff back where we were. We're, we could be down here for a while. Hopefully you don't mind. I think caving is really fun. It's my favorite thing to do in the game. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it until we run out of cave or I get sick of it. I'm gonna have to go to the surface soon, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, oh boy. Thanks for watching. I, um, if you enjoyed this video, I, uh, please subscribe or please like it first of all please like it down below the video that helps me helps grow my channel helps people find it all that good stuff um and if you want to see more videos please subscribe that will well it'll let my my videos will come to your inbox your youtube inbox which is exciting i hope i hope you that's exciting to you <laughs> if not don't subscribe I'm not forcing you to subscribe, but it would make me feel good if you did, because I like having fans. I love you guys for watching me in the first place. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this video. We got our diamond, we got our four diamonds, so we can make another pick. We can enchant another pick, at the very least, another, another diamond pick, so that's really exciting. That's really exciting to me. And we'll continue in the cave next episode. I'm going to stop rambling. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.